This is AIR. Artist in Residence Broadcasting. Coming to you once a week from New York City. Hello there. I'm John Collum, and you can guess who this is. No, I'm Emily Miss, I'm Franco. Mrs. John Collum. Mrs. Emily Miss. Franco. And okay. I'm Mr. Emily Franco. <laughs> and that's true, you are. That's right, you're right. Mm -hmm. I, d I don't mean that as an insult, I mean oh, that as a compliment. I d and I take it as a compliment. Well, I mean, I'm glad to be Mr. Emily Frankel. Hi, Mr. Frankel. Hello, Mr. Cullum. <laughs> Hello, John. We must have some subject that would be more oh, interesting. We have an this. interesting subject. What is it? We have a secret subject. What? A secret John subject? John actually has a new project. Now, John has Bible Belt that he was working on, but he got a little tired of it. That happens with the projects. You have to put it down. Not permanently. I remind him to put it back. But a <clears throat> long, long time ago, long time ago. When I was when it, 16, if you're going to talk about Jack, is that what you're going to talk I'm about? I'm going to talk about when I first met you, oh. and I couldn't sleep, mm -hmm. and you would say, I'm going to tell you a story, right. and you would tell me a story, and it was called Jack Went Down the Road, Yeah. and would you, could you sort of give us a sense of this story? Yeah. Okay, John's project, he's going to record scenes, all the story of Jack, he's a Jack tale, and put it right here on air broadcasting, so that's what we're working on, but that's yeah. a secret. Yeah. Okay, now, tell us the Jack tale. Well... I have to tell you where it came from. When I was 16, I went to Brasstown and to do folk dancing and that sort of thing, and I heard this gentleman tell this tale called Jack and the Doctor's Daughter, and I was so impressed with it, I could never forget it. And I finally found a book called Jack Tales by Richard Chase, and that's you didn't know the background when you, when I told you that story, but it it had stayed with me and has stayed with me all my well, now, just adult life. Tell me in the southern accent that you used to use okay. at bedtime. Well, tell Jack me. went down the road and he came to the doctor's house, and there was the doctor's daughter Annabelle a hoeing in the garden. Notice I get sleepy. It's sleepy yes, <laughs> just a, you okay. still, I may have to wake her up. Go ahead. And Jack said howdy, and she said howdy, and Jack went on down the road. And the next day, he just happened to be coming by the same road, on the same road, came by the doctor's house, and there was Annabelle hoeing in the garden, and Jack said, howdy, and she said, howdy, and, she, and he said, well, I, I, I see you're hoeing in the garden, Jack, uh, Annabelle, and he said, she said, I get a little confused, she said, I, well, your eyesight's improving, Jack, and he said, well, I, I, if you don't mind, I, I'd like to come in there and help you hoe in the garden. And she said, you can suit yourself, the gate's not left. And so he goes in and he starts holding in the garden and the doctor's looking out the window and he sees Jack out there. He comes tearing out and says, what are you doing out here, boy? And she says, I'm just trying to be friendly, Dr. Jenkins. He says, well, you're in the wrong neighborhood for it, boy. I don't allow anybody to hold in my garden with my daughter unless they've got a thousand dollars in the bank. And I don't reckon you got a thousand dollars, do you, Jack? Jack said, well, I, I, I don't, but I reckon I can try. And Jack went down the road to get $1,000. Now, the that's story the progresses story. from there into a lot of things. There are pirates, there's cows, there's <laughs> negotiation, there's a customer. John, could you just for the moment sing me a tiny bit of Doc song? Okay. Ready? Let's see. Well, let's see. I, I, you, I was home. Uh, there's nothing wrong with some folks be an emperor won't solve. They figure that they're pretty near perfection. Doc has got it figured out that he's a mite too good for Jack and all the other folks in the neighborhood. <laughs> that's okay. That's wonderful. Uh, okay. Now do a tiny bit of what Jack sings. To determination. The, I see. Determination. It, uh, gosh, he he says, um, well, Jack, Doc is laughing, I can just hear him laughing at me right now. He's saying, uh, well, you better watch out, old Dr. Bellyache. 
Jack may get you, or at least I'll try you, and you better know darn well. I'm a pretty peaceful fella, you can ask my friends. I'm as easy going as the balmy autumn winds. I would turn the other cheek if you gave me a smack. If you ever need a friend, if you ever need a shirt, just take mine off the back. I love this. <laughs> I love this project. I'm looking forward to this project, and so I wanted you to have a tiny little preview because we've been recording it. John? Yes, darling? Please finish the whole Jack tale for our video. Thank well, you very much, John Cullum. If it ever gets done, it's thank you, Emily Franco, for getting me to do it. Thank you, Emily, Mrs. John Cullum. Okay, we'll see you next week, okay? So long. This is AIR. See you next week.